Losing a wrestling match can be one of the most personal things in the world because if you're doing it right, then you're putting everything you have into practice and you're working every day to get better and you just got beat. Getting beat sucks. It's the definition of having someone just be better than you. It's the definition of not being good enough. No matter which way you cut it, if you lose, it's only your fault. There's no one else out there to blame. If you say that the ref made a bad call, then it's your fault for letting it get to that point. You need to be better than the competition. Do you understand what I mean? In order to be good at this sport, you have to hold yourself to an extremely, extremely high standard. So losing a match should make you upset, regardless of how bad you lost it. Getting a point scored on you, getting taken down, getting your back exposed, should make you upset. You should not be content with any of those things happening to you. It should make you very, very upset. If you lose a match, like one of the most important things to take away from it is the video of you losing a match. They're very hard to watch. I understand watching yourself lose is like the most difficult thing in the world, but you have to watch the matches that you lose and you have to see exactly where you went wrong. You have to replay it, watch it, identify exactly where you went wrong, what you should have done better, what steps you can take next time. For example, if you gas out in the third period, then you need to run more, you need to do more cardio, you need to focus more on that aspect. Or if you get pancaked from a stand-up, then you're just doing stand up slowly and poorly. You need to watch yourself with a very critical eye because just saying, oh, that kid was better than me, you will be st stuck being worse than that kid always. You will never surpass that kid unless you learn why he beat you, how he beat you, so that next time when you're put in that scenario, you know exactly what to look for. I always say in all my videos that you have to be aggressive and you have to weaponize your aggression and your stamina. Now this doesn't mean that you don't have to watch your fucking P's and Q's. This doesn't mean that you just run at your opponent the whole time. You have to be aggressive, but you have to decide when the right moment to be aggressive is. You have to know when to back off, when to let go of the pressure, and when to create space, when to, when to close the space. These are all very, very important aspects of the sport because with wrestling if you make one mistake if you open yourself up for one second then that's when you lose that's the point when you lose right when you lose form when you lose your stamina your speed your strength your agility that's when you lose it's not in the beginning of the match when you're like perfect and you're as fast as you can be very rarely do people like take someone down with their first shot at least a quality wrestler right it usually takes some chain wrestling it usually takes some effort so remember those things when you lose a match it happens to everyone you should be upset but don't beat yourself up too much over it just just understand how to take the steps to learn from your losses. Because if you don't, then you'll be worse than all of the kids who beat you. Don't let that define you. If you guys like my videos, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.